All right, so the concept of integration. Integration is the opposite of differentiation. But the power rule, when we had y equals a x to the power of n, in order to find the derivative, we took n times a x to the power of n minus 1, where we multiplied the power and then we subtracted 1 now every single time. So now, when we integrate, we go backwards. And so what we have to do is instead of multiplying and then subtracting 1, we now go in the opposite direction. We plus 1 first, and then we divide. So in this case, we would take that n a x to the power of n minus 1. And what we would do is we would take that plus 1, and then divide it by whatever that ends up as. In this case, you can see that's going to cancel. It's going to cancel, leaving you with nax to the power of n over n, which takes you back to the original function, y equals ax to the power of n. A simple example, let's suppose I got y equals 3x squared. When I derive this, I get 6x to the power of 1, because that's multiply, and then minus 1 using the power rule. So now we're going backwards, and we decide we want to integrate this. So we integrate 6x, 6x with respect to x. And we take the power, which is at the moment 1, we plus 1, and we divide it by that every single time. And that's going to become 6x squared over 2. And every time we do this, we add an unknown constant, c. And we just keep having an unknown constant, c, for now, because this is an indefinite integral. It doesn't have a starting or ending point. This will become 3x squared plus c, and we leave it like that. All right. Now, we know the original function is plus a zero, we, the constant specifically for this is zero, but we can't really state that because we don't know yet until we are provided values. Once you've integrated something, it goes back to the original function. So that's the original function over there. And in order to find the c value, we need a coordinate. So if I change x and y into some coordinate given, then I can find the exact c value. In this case, because the c value is 0, it means that x is 0 and y is 0. So x will become 0, y will become 0, and so c will become 0. And that, and then. All right. So that's integration, which is the reverse of differentiation.